What's up guys, Carly here and today I'm going to teach you how to do the jump rope trick called the toad. Just like this. Alright, that looks like fun. Grab your rope and come join me. What's up guys, thanks for joining me on how to do this fun jump rope trick called the toad. Alright, so let's get started right away. First, what we're going to do is learn how to do the trick without our rope, okay? We're going to shadow jump it. Um, usually one side is going to be more dominant than the other, so pick what side's more comfortable for you first, and then we'll learn how to do it on the other side after you master your dominant side. So, my side is going to be my right leg, okay? So, if I'm going to lift my right leg up, I'm going to use my left arm to cross under it, okay? So, if you're going to start on your left leg, you're going to use your right arm to cross under it, alright? So, let's get the movement down. So first things first is, in the toad, you're gonna to be crossing both of your arms and your opposite arm, opposite leg is gonna go underneath, okay? So I'm gonna lift my right leg up and I'm gonna put my left arm under and my right arm's gonna come on top of it, okay? So if I'm doing my other side, I would just do left leg, right arm under, okay? So you wanna make sure that this position right here is comfortable for you. You wanna make sure that you have a tight enough cross that you crunch down enough to make sure that your wrist are gonna be out, outside of your body, on both sides of you, because you wanna make sure that your loop is going to be big enough to jump through, okay? So practice doing this motion a couple times. All right, so get used to doing this. I would suggest just doing it on one side first, and then you can do the other, all right? So, once you get this comfortable, this right here, we're gonna try our rope, okay? But we're not gonna jump the rope quite yet, we're just gonna swing it to get the feel for it, um, and just let it touch our toes, okay? So, go ahead and grab your rope. We are going to start with the rope behind us. We're gonna swing it over our head and then we're gonna get in our toe cross position, okay? So, I'm gonna swing it over my head and cross, all right? So do that a couple times, swing it over your head, cross. All right, so when you're in the cross position, you wanna make sure that your wrists are parallel to the ground. If they are facing down, you're gonna trip over your rope. If they are facing up, you're gonna trip over your rope. You wanna make sure that they are tight and they are parallel to the ground, okay? So let's try that again, ready? Over our head, oops, over the head, and cross. All right, so as you can see, my loop right here is big enough for me to jump through, okay? If you're not crossing enough, then you're not gonna have enough room to jump over. You gotta have a tight cross, you gotta crunch down more, do it. Just gotta make sure it's tight enough for you to have a big enough loop to jump through, okay? All right, so let's practice doing this. Bring it over our head, cross. A couple more times. Over our head, cross. Check your position. Are your, are your wrists straight? Is your loop big enough to jump through? Just like that, all right? Once you feel like you got that down, you're gonna do one jump over the rope first, okay? So I'm gonna swing it over my head, I'm gonna cross and jump. And you'll be jumping on one foot, okay? So here we go. Hop, and just let it, let it hit the ground, okay? So you're gonna swing it over your head, cross and jump. Your cross jump is gonna be at the same time. So as soon as you cross, you also hop on one leg, okay? So up over our head, cross jump. All right, and just let it hit, okay? So over our head, cross jump, let it hit. All right, so do that as many times as you need to feel comfortable, okay? And once you've got that down, you can practice crossing and then uncrossing into your regular jump, okay? So the whole move of the toe looks like this. Swing, cross, jump, uncross, okay? I'm gonna do that in slow motion for you. Okay, just like that, all right? Once you got that down, then you can practice going to your other side. Crossing and uncrossing. Okay, so it's cross, uncross. All right, and that's all there is to it. So, be patient with yourself. It takes time to learn new tricks, but it certainly pays off in the long run. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial, and I hope to see you again. Thanks, bye.